Hi guys, this is Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram and today I'm doing the Drop Zone Bracelet, a very very simple design um, but it comes out looking quite effective. This is the way you actually make it. Um, my mum thought it looked like streamers but there was a streamer bracelet already. When you turn it over this way though it reminded me of lots of uh, parachute canopies. Uh, so I was thinking Drop Zone. Uh, this can be done with all sorts of bands. It's kind of straightforward. It's a hook only design. Uh, I've decided I'm going to show it in opaques because that's what most people have. If you have specialty bands, it'll look really cool as well. As you can see, I've used the limited edition uh, gemstone ones in this one. But today I'm going to demonstrate it, as I said, with the opaques so that as many people as possible might be able to make it. You can see that it looks great with an opaque band as well. So let's get on with it. Alrighty, so I'm going to use um, ocean uh, and also grey bands. I hope they're not too close in colour for you to be able to see what I'm doing. But it's really simple. Um, this is done in sections, so each section has three bands and it's each section is a different colour. You, of course, can play around with that, but um, that's what gives it this kind of cute canopy effect if you want to get that. Alright, so we'll start cap band is going to be the same colour as the other bands <clears throat> pardon me, that you start with and so we do a cap band and to stabilise it we'll put one band through that just to start with and it's pretty much the same all the way from the beginning once you've done this uh, you've got the sequence that you're going to be using we've got geckos You've got the sequence that you're going to be using all the way through the band. So we're still using the same colour. Now if you've watched any of my other hook onlys you might have seen me do this before. I like to get a band, so you get two of the same colour. Get one of them and just hook it over the end of the hook. Lay the other one just over the top like that. Go over the one you've laid and grab hold of that side and it brings that up. If you've looked at Chidaro's Chidaro on um, YouTube, she did my Lush Foliage and she did it a slightly different way, which is also cool, so check that out if you'd like to uh, try that out. This is the way that I find easiest, so you should end up with a chain and a loop, a full loop hanging under it. All you need to do is pull that one for this bar, oh, or you could lose it like I just did. Too much talking, not enough thinking. There we go. Now in this instance, so it's not exactly the same, you're going to pull it through just through, but it is the same in the sense that you're going to pull it through the same colour loop that's on there. Hook it back on. So now you have four, and it kind of to me looks a little bit like a tulip in the middle. So one side is a little bit longer, one side is a little bit shorter, and you've got like that tulip shape in the middle. Before you turn it round, you're going to start by grabbing a colour, a band of the opposite colour. So we're going to need three bands of the other colour. Of course you could do this in rainbow colours or anything, but I'm just alternating. And the first band just gets pulled onto these two here. And then we're going to turn it round. So slide your hook out. Turn it round and put it back on. Now other people, Jay Salvarez has showed how to do that with getting another hook and sliding it in there and then just removing it. If you're having trouble with turning it around, go check out one of his hook only tutorials because he's got some good tips on those. But with four bands, it's easy enough to turn it around. So I think most people will be able to manage that. So once you've turned it around, you then make that same shape with the bands, grab that other one on top, over this one, under this one, and just lift that up and it forms a loop. Now that is going to go through the first three loops. One, two, three, and you'll notice that you're coming up into the middle of the loop of the same colour like so. And when you pull that down, 
you see that we've created another canopy. So before you turn it round, you grab your next colour along and do a single loop through those two left ones. And then we turn that around, get your hook out and put it back on in the opposite way. Make one of those funny looped onto a band formations. So we go grab and then that goes through three bands into the center of the same color loop like that. Okay, I've got a box next to me here which my iPad is resting on so it's a little bit cramped. Alrighty, so again you grab, you can see though the opaque bands really hold their shape very well too in this bracelet. So before you turn it round you go to the next colour, loop it through those first two, hook it back on and turn it. Make the other formation with that colour you've just hooked on. So if you get stuck and you think, oh, where was I up to? If you just turn it round, you'll have one colour on that side, which means you're up to this step of looping it together. So we get this band on the hook, put another one over it, go over that one, pick this one up, and pull. Easy peasy. Pull it through three bands into the center of the same color. And do it that way. Okay. Now this is really straightforward, so I'm going to take just do one very slow one, just in case you're getting a little bit lost in it. Um, so you take a single band of the opposite color or the next color, the one that's going to be the next upside down parachute and you take it through one two and hook it back to itself so you should have two a loop there really clearly and two loops coming up from different spots on the other side of the previous color grasp it there turn it And then with the opposite colour, like the colour from the previous colour bands on this side closest to your hook, you're going to grab a two bands of this colour, you grab one and put it on your hook. Get the second one and just lay it over the top of it like that. Then you put your hook, it's like weaving, put your hook over the next one, under that one, without going through here, just pick that up, there you go, got caught over there because I'm hanging onto, my, hanging onto my other ones, okay, so this is what you should have, sorry it's a bit crooked, gotta see if I can work something out about that, then you pull that, or you can use, you can use your finger to pull three bands over, which should place it right in the center, coming up in the center of that loop of the same color. And you hook it back on. And that's pretty much it. I will attempt a left-handed <laughs> demonstration as I have with the other ones. So what I might do is I'll Actually, it should be right if I do it, because it's basically the same on both sides. So I'll just turn my hook around and go from there, pretending that I've just done the first step of pulling a chain through, sorry, putting, pulling a band through, and so you'll see how you start that anyway. That's the 
that's your chain and then that's your bands which get pulled through in exactly the same sequence all right fingers crossed so from here you grab your band of the opposite color or the next color and I'm going to do it by pushing these over this needs to go through one so it needs to go over one one two But I'm making the left handers feel good about not being able to manage right handed tutorials and hook that back on. Then grab this, take your hook out, turn it around, so you've got the colour you've just put on closest to your hand and the colour previous colour closest to your hook. And you want to grab your two bands of the same colour closest to your hook and you put so I'm getting quiet you put one on the loop one on the hook put one over the top then you go over that one under that one and pick it up and you formed a loop with a band hooked, hooked to it then that needs to be pulled through to the center of these two loops. So you're going to take one, two, if I can get one, oh my goodness. I'm going to try doing it this way. So you take one, I swear this is just for comedy value, one, two, and the third one should be of the same colour that you've got over here. And then you hook that back on again. You grab the next colour and pull that through just the first two. Like that. And hook it back on. Then you would pick it up, turn it around, and continue. I hope that's helped those of you out there who find it hard to do it from a right handed tutorial. And if not, I hope you got a chuckle. Alright, so that's my drop zone, very simple and straightforward. Um, okay, I almost forgot to tell you how to close it up. So once you've reached where you're up to, and it doesn't really matter whether you've only just half done uh, a step or whether you want to just complete the next step so that you've got it looking neat on the end. So you've just completed that. All you need to do is draw through um, a single band or a double band if you prefer that. Sometimes uh, when I'm working with opaques I'll often do a double band for strength. So if one snaps, you've still got a backup. So you just put that through and your C-clip will go on there and round to go on there. And there you have it. That's cute. Parachutes, drop zone, ta-da. All right, uh, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Please give me feedback. Um, if you, there's something I'm doing that you're not finding too helpful, um, if you just want to laugh at my left left-handed attempts please um, check me out on Instagram and f um, tag my, the photos your photos and also in the comments so that I get to see anything you make off these and give me a like if you did like it subscribe if you feel like it follow me if you like my account uh, and I will hopefully uh, be doing a few more tutorials so you can keep um, keep watching for those Alright guys, catch you later, bye!